What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 24 franchise video. I'm your host, No ID. We got a very close game from start to finish. Um, this game is crazy, man. <laughs> uh, it was a really good game. I don't want to tell y'all if I won or I lost at the end. But the end is where it's at, man. For real. The end is where it's at. We're in the playoffs. We're playing the Ravens, who we played obviously twice already. So we kind of got an idea of what to look for, you know? So I already know he's going to be run heavy. As you can see, we got one trade on defense. Nothing changed. Run up here, nothing crazy. Good old big nickel. I think he um I think he threw that too early or something. Because none of his block is blocked. But him breaking that tackle, it really didn't matter. So who cares? Anytime somebody come out and pistol bunch tight end, I'm always looking for the uh the RPO. It wasn't this. This drag. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that drag is gonna kill me a lot in this game. But he's doing what he's supposed to. I got two um, safeties at linebacker. He got Nigel Harris. Why not run the ball? He's going to get animations like, whoa, did y'all see that? Hold on. Look at this. Y'all seen that? He glitched back up. Hold on. Let me see if I can slow it down. Play best be half. Watch this. He knocks him out. Bam. He gets back up. He knocks him down again. <laughs> what the freak? That's insane. Okay. If that don't tell you something. <laughs> 31, this is a big, this is a big stop if we can get it. Nope. Good patient drive by him. I applaud him on that. You can't hate, man. If you don't want somebody doing something, you gotta stop it, man. I don't understand all these people be complaining about the game and stuff. I'm like, man, just, just stop it. We had that shut down. He might have had the corner if he threw it earlier. Right here. He high balls that maybe. He's probably a catch. But that's a good defensive play by us. He didn't see it. I'm guessing the pressure kept him from seeing it. Come on, 29. That's your tackle right there. That's your tackle, man. You standing flat-footed. Make a play. All right, third and one. I bring in the big boys. Man up. But he got a bigger boy at fullback. Wasn't expecting a fullback handoff. So that drive is complete. That's a good one. All right, we on offense now. Y'all know me, you trips. I'm checking out everything. It's the playoffs, man. I gotta be, I gotta be um intentional about what I got going on. That's good defense by them. He took away my first read, which was the running back, so I had to come back to that one. And he was in a good enough position to make the knockout. Got numbers, I try to run it, do the RPO, I'll take that. Ooh, nice shoot. Tank Deli. Remember, I'm being patient. If I say I got numbers, audible down to a run. Like, I think I'm probably gonna audible down to a run again, yeah. And why not? He's only got three down linemen. I'm basically playing the same game he's playing, taking my advantage. This should break for a touchdown. It's not, but shit. Nine yards is cool. Same thing, three down linemen, okay. You wanna keep running three down linemen? I got plenty of running formations. Ooh, that's nice, and that block right there. Let's go, that's nice right there. And that's the thing, like, I know the pros be throwing it every down, but guess what? They pros for a reason. They can do that. 
Me, I gotta take my advantages, basically. I gotta play, I gotta play Madden with the mind. And if you're coming out with three down linemen, I'm gonna run that way. I mean, it's as simple as that. All right, now, can we do a stop? Right there, I just wanted to make sure he didn't get outside, so I did my job, stopped it. I mean, it was an eight yard run, but it wasn't a touchdown. So we cool with that. Right here, I'm looking for the run. It was a run, but I didn't commit to it all the way. So, first down. That's the end of the first. Everybody likes to run this one particular play action play out of this formation. So I'm pretty sure that's what I'm looking for. I don't know if it is what it is, but that's what I'm looking for, yep. Um, but I don't think that, I don't think it's a stock out like that. I think he audible that out. Let's see if he did any audibles at the line of scrimmage. I'm pretty sure he audible that into an out. Yeah, because it's not an out stop. And so it was open. I had everything else boxed. If you look at everything else, everything else is boxed, watch. Covered, covered, covered. That was open. And the fact that he made the audible, he was looking at it immediately. So, that was a good play by him. Right here, I'm out leveraged. So you see, I tried to run out there, but it was a run anyway. Luckily, we got a shed and a stop in the backfield. So that worked out in my favor. Another run, another success. So I'm realizing like until the best thing that we can do to beat them is to basically force them to pass. As long as he can run, he's going to run. But if I get a big enough lead where he can't, then I should be in business. Internet acting slow, man. What's going on? Breaking tackles. That's Najee, man. That's what happens when you have DBs out there, but I don't want to put my linebackers in. If they're going to do a long drive like this, then so be it. You know what I mean? We don't want them scoring quick. If they're willing to be patient and score like this, then so be it. Oh, I think I put a linebacker in. I don't, or either that or I didn't pick this formation. I don't know what happened right here. This formation looks different. I don't think this is big nickel. Maybe I ran out of time before I could pick my play. Oh, I'm in 3-4. Oh, oh, because he's in the red zone. Got you. So I switched to 3-4 once he got into the red zone. Good job. He just falls forward. That's a big body. Now, I don't expect that to be happening when I'm on, when I'm in 3-4, but that wasn't safety. Right here, I'm just looking for the QBC. If he does anything else, so be it, but I'm looking for the QB sneak. He, he, he runs it, he gets it. All right, back on offense. I still need to stop bringing the ball out on kickoffs. I rarely get a kick return, so I was like, what's the point? We get our screen, we got exactly what we wanted, except he was able to break through the blocks. Fortunately for him, I'm fortunate for me. I think that would have been good. Now he's coming down to four linemen, so I'm like, okay, it's time to pass. Ooh, square's coming open, but I don't have the time. Uh, and I feel like if I would have threw it right here, I feel like he would have got to it. Like if I throw it now, and it's like right here, I think they'll give him the animation. So... Now I can throw it, but I'm sacked. So I can't. Because I'm on my back. Third and 15 right before the half. This is a terrible place to be in. Take it to the two-minute warning. Instead of rushing the play. Three down linemen, but you can't run it on third and 15. Well, you could, but I'm not going to. Yeah, that's open. Oh, pass interference on the catch. You just gotta give him a chance, man. That's that's Pitts. Kyle Pitts, I got him lined up on the outside. He's a big body, 6'5. 
one on one, give him a chance. Not only did he catch it, but he drew the pass in the fan. So it worked out. I run here just to catch him off guard because I don't typically run out of this formation. So I'm just trying to keep him honest. Also, I want to be the last one to score. I don't want to give him time um, before I have to score again. Let's go into the half tie, and then I get the ball. And that way we can take the lead. So that's that's my mindset. This is a great one. And I most certainly would have scored right there because I'm most more times than none I'm gonna take the points. He got me. That was a great user right there. Great user right there. I was about to throw it to Kittle, but he's standing right there. So I'm about to throw it to him, but he backs out. Kittle's open again, but by then I got happy feet. So that was that was great user by him. Three down lineman, you know what I'm gonna do. It's almost to the point where you can control what I do. When you come out of three down lineman, you know what I'm gonna do. If you want me to run, come out of three down lineman. Essentially, like. Hey, I'm running up all my time using a hurry up. I got three timeouts. Just use the timeout. I just don't want to leave any time for him. That's why I'm not using the timeout. Dang. First of all, I think if I throw this, it's a first down. Yeah, if I throw it, it's a first. Also, if I just... Oh, no. He shed it. I don't think I can get out there. So he just got the... Sh oh, well, he animated into a block. So if I would have just not held turbo and kept running out here, I might have picked up this, and I might have scored if I just kept running out here. So now it's fourth and two, what I'm gonna do, probably take the points. Yeah, so I'm taking the points here. I'm assuming I make the kick, yeah, made it. Let's get to the third quarter. All right, here we go. We got the ball. Now it's time for us to take our first lead of the game. At least that's the plan. Four down lineman. Passing. Oh. If I could have held on to it a little longer, if I would have just waited a little longer. Because it there's no pressure. If I would have waited, I have X right here. Butt naked. Kittle. Butt naked. Instead, I made the right read and come behind the user to just he was just able to make a play on it. So I just gotta have better pocket presence. Pocket awareness, because if I knew, then I wouldn't have. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, that should have been an interception. I really should have threw probably square. I don't know how I got away with that. That's insane. Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button. I'm like, why do you keep showing this? All right, third and 10, not good. Two down line, but it looks like four linebackers. I, just, I don't expect him to be looking for the screen right here, but I also don't like the look as I'm looking at it. So audible here, what we got going? Here, I just try to get as many yards as possible. Cause I've already decided that I'm probably gonna go for it. Got the screen. Didn't think he'd be looking for it. Mm. Getting the blocks. Getting the jukes. Behind. Behind is nice, man. <laughs> man, he's tired. That boy is struggling right now. Ooh, X. Oh, I missed him. I missed him, and then I had the post coming right here. Well, the user's right there, but how much time did I have? Was I about to get set? No. I could have threw circle. It's just funny when you see, like, you don't see all this stuff while you're playing, but you see it afterwards. Dang, that was a good break. I also didn't realize that my backup running back was in on that one. 
I probably didn't realize it then either. That was good using by him. Dang! That time I had better presence, but a bad throw. Somebody in my face, that boy was butt naked. Fourth and 12, what I do? Do I kick here? No, I don't think I can kick from 44. Oh, maybe I can. What the? Did I make it? Boom! That's good money. It pays to have a good kicker, man. It pays to have a good kicker. So we didn't come out empty handed. Should have scored, but we didn't come in. All right, now he has the lead, so he still has the opportunity to keep stay honest to his offense. As you can see, he comes out in form. I think I just made a change. Okay, so I put my linebackers in. I put both linebackers in so that uh we could, you know, slow the run down a little bit. That's one of them halftime adjustments, but. Then that opens this up. So, not great. But, oh, still breaking runs. That boy tried to hurt him. That's crazy. He tried to hurt me, dog. The good news is, if if we do end up giving up a touchdown, we're st it's still a one-score game. We just gotta go for two. Dang, I thought we was gonna get him in the backfield. Look at oh, who did that? Dang, who pushed that fumble? Right, I said picked it up. I don't know who forced it, but we needed that. Was he tired? I'm kind of surprised he fumbled. Let's see how he was standing in the... No, he's not tired. One, two. It looks like a, a DB forced that fumble too, which is crazy. Because they forced some fumbles, but they wasn't able to make tackles earlier. But that's the, that's the stop we needed. This time he's a four down lineman, but... Since I just got the ball of a turnover, I'm kind of trying to be conservative. So I'm like, let me see what I can get off a run. We get a decent five yards. You see, we seven for 98, so the run is there. Running back. Okay. I remember when this happened, I'm like, really? Because I'm running out of bounds. I mean, actually, that's not true. I'm running towards out of bounds, but if you see at the last second I light up, right here I'm about to light up. And that's because I'm trying to juke right to get more yards. Right there, I juke right into, I think that's Fred Warner. He strips me, and we get a ball right back. So at the time, I don't remember juking. I remember being like, dang, I can't believe I just fumbled like that on the way out of bounds. I just had a chance to win this game. So I'm I'm noticed I'm realizing now like okay we run out of time. We do not have enough time for those kind of mistakes. I'm trying to get to the flat. Get there but late. Got caught up on a block. Maybe if I get there in time, he doesn't have anywhere to throw it. We get a sack or he throws it anyway and we get a turnover. Defense with a big stop right here. He's gonna kick a field goal 45 yards. I don't think he got the leg in. I don't remember who his kicker was, though. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he can make that. He can absolutely make that. And he does. So back on offense, we go down four. See what I'm saying? Now I'm starting on the 12 because I decide I want to take the ball out. But it ends up like a dummy. I haven't done any... Uh, Tight end streak, so I throw him right there. But behind's wide open on the wheel. I was thinking I could steal a quick high throw to the tight end, but 
Apparently, behind was my first read. And he ran towards the tight end, so it just worked out. Four down linemen, so we're gonna pass it again. Taking my check downs, and I'm getting out of bounds. You see, I ain't do no juking on that one. Like, not again. Hmm. Here, I'm just trying to steal yards. Oh! Good catch. His user stopped, and I don't know what his DBs had going on, but they weren't in position. So that was a good read. It was kind of late, though. Was anything else open? Mm, triangle's kind of coming open. But the slant held him down and it made it able for me to throw that. Pretty sure I'm about to audible to a run. Oh, I guess not. Oh, I was already in a run. Look at me trying to be patient. I'll take the three yards. I tried to be patient right here. That's impressive. I tried to wait for the block. Oh, uh, that didn't work. <laughs> but stuff like that can be the difference in breaking a touchdown. It just didn't work out that time. Still being conservative, realizing that this is the fourth quarter. I want to score a touchdown because I have to score a touchdown. I see he's blitzing out here, so now I'm trying to figure out what exactly I'm going to throw because he's blitzing. Oh, he was bluff blitzing. He was not blitzing. Kyle Pitts for the touchdown. That's crazy. It's a good thing I didn't change the play all the way to make it, um, to like account for that. But, uh, is this too loud? Hey, I'm sorry if it's been too loud this whole time. I apologize. Oh no! Tripping. All right. I think this is, wait. My bad. I done spoiled something. All right, here we go. Hold on, let me back it up, because I don't know what we missed. Back it on up. All right, here we go. My bad, y'all. Y'all can tell I'm rusty. Rusty, but never dusty. Still got my linebackers in because I'm expecting some runs so he can make this the last drive. Get a good stop right there. Still watching the run. Ooh, that drag's been killing me all game. I, I think I mentioned that earlier. That joint been killing me all game. In that situation, I had to choose though. I didn't have a real, a real choice. I was gonna be wrong either way. That's a good run. It's that same play from earlier, but this time he didn't audible it. He didn't change it to an out. So he just had the long drag. We had the deep stuff box, but he was able to get that underneath. Good stop right there, 33. But also, we're at the situation where one, we want enough time if they score a touchdown, but two, we don't. Like, we want to make sure we have some time if we give up a score. They're almost in. Ooh, what a play. That's why we got the backers in there. He's almost in the scoring position. We could have stopped right here. The game's over. 
He's in that snug flips again. He's probably gonna do the little, let's see if he audibles it. Oh no, it's a run and I stopped him. A minute 12 left. That should be the game. But if you're looking at the bar at the bottom, you know that it's not. So there's a viable lesson to learn here. I expect him to think I'm running, so I just go ahead and do a pass. And right here, I'm trying to go down, but I get knocked out of bounds. So I think I have it on conservative because I'm trying to give myself up and just lay down, like right here, but it doesn't. So I'm still running. I should've just stopped. I should've just stopped. But not only do we go inside the six, but we also get knocked out of bounds. So now we have to score because he has three timeouts. Like we have to score a touchdown now. Um, which is unfortunate. I'm sure I can score, but it's just, I don't want to be in that position. Cause now he still has the opportunity to win a game. Whereas if I just go down, once I get the first down, just go down. He has to call a timeout. And then all I need is a first down to win. Instead, I end up scoring. We go up 10, 57 seconds left. Kick it off. Fair catch. And here we go. Decent level of defense and this game is over. One more stop and this game is over. Now, I don't know why I'm bringing him all the way down here expecting a run because he's down 10. I don't even know why I'm playing a run. At this point, if you want to run, let him run. Gets the first there. I don't know why I'm playing a run. That's so dumb. Good defense here. Good swat. Would have preferred a pick, but we'll take it. Second and 10. All I gotta do is not give up a touchdown. So play action, six looks open. Throws it to McLaurin, we're right there. Goes for the swat, McLaurin catches it. So now we're in black, bad place. Cause now he's only down four, kicks the extra point. 15 seconds though, I know the onside kick's coming. All we gotta do is recover the onside, the game's over. Recover the onside and the game is over. We don't recover the onside. So as you can see, <laughs> things get sticky. Now it's essentially, okay, don't give up a touchdown. Whatever I do, don't give up a touchdown. Obviously, I don't want to give up a, enough yards for him to kick it, but I definitely don't want to give up a touchdown. He runs it, we get a stop, perfect. 11 seconds. I know he was expecting a big run. He didn't get it. 10 seconds left, one timeout. At our 44, I mean at his own 44, so we're still in good, a good place. I back the DBs up. I don't want to give up anything crazy. And still, I give up the deep pass down the middle. What else was open? And what was I even watching? Oh, I came down for the drag like a dummy. That same drag that's been killing me all game, I chased it. If I don't chase it, we give up the drag. He might not get enough yards to do anything. So, got a field goal. He makes it, and we're in overtime. So the lesson to be learned here is if I would have just gone down on that long screen pass to behind, this game is over. It's over, but we're in overtime. So he's going back to his um, Initial game plan, we get a stop. He gets a penalty for holding. We get the ball back. This time he throws the screen, it works correctly. He gets 14 of those 17 yards back, basically. Now it's second and three.
Still got my linebackers in, which I mean, honestly, is good. Since we've done that, we've been doing a little better. That last drive, I think I left them in in that last drive too. And I shouldn't have, I should have put my DBs in because we're defending the pass. So it's a lot to learn from this situation. We got everything boxed right here. So I thought he catches it. Can't believe that. Those are the kind of plays that start to get frustrating because it's like, no way my DB didn't react or do anything. Sitting right there. Another holding, I think. Yeah. I wonder if he put his blocking on aggressive. Because that's two holdings now. I'm not complaining, but it's, it is interesting that all of a sudden I'm getting a lot of holding calls. Oh, if that was a DB, that's probably a pick. Unfortunately, it wasn't. So now it's first and 10 at the 11. The good news is if he does score, we get the opportunity. We get the opportunity no matter what if he scores. But it's best to get a stop him for a field goal. Goodness gracious. Runs down to the two. I'm selling out for the run. First and goal. Goodness gracious. Selling out for the run again. It's a good stop. Selling out for the run again, but I am watching the RPO on the other side. The audibles. Looks like he just flips the play. So I'm keeping everything the same. Good head up tackle. Who is that? Franklin. That's a good head up tackle right there. That boy wants to go to the bowl. Same thing. I'm looking for the QB sneak. We stop them. Now, the question is, do you go for the touchdown on fourth and goal, or do you just take a field goal and trust your defense? Let's see what he does. He's taking a field goal. And I'm cool with that. I'm fine with him taking a field goal, because I believe my offense can move the ball and get a first down. I mean, get a touchdown. R1, I was looking for something deep. I had to be. R1 is flashing in front of me too. I think I was trying to throw uh, pits and he got hit. If I throw R1, we'd probably get a first down, but I don't, so we take a sack. That's so dumb. Terrible, terrible decision making right there. It put us in a bad spot. Another sack. Anybody open this time? Uh, I was about to throw X. He wasn't really open though. This time I'm trying to go for a screen because I don't think he's looking for it. Big boy is right there on me. Now here we are, fourth and 28. How many plays you got for something like this? Well, I got one. And then I got sacked. And that's how I lose divisional playoff game so like i said plenty to learn from this hopefully you learned it by seeing my struggles versus having to go through it yourself but clock clock the game clock the game i should have went down with behind i should have been more patient at overtime and took my underneath stuff i should have played with the same offensive game plan i was playing the entire game that was showing success but um yeah that's it man i appreciate y'all for watching and um, as always, until next time, take care of yourselves. Peace.